Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Julia Coleman. I'm a member of the Chanhassen City Council and a candidate for the Minnesota State Senate to represent Carver County. In these unprecedented and trying times, I wanted to take just a couple of minutes to talk about the importance of mental health during this pandemic. I've seen a lot of stories on the news and social media about a pretty severe spike in mental health cases and suicides. Mental health has been a platform issue of mine since I served as Miss Minneapolis in 2014, uh, before I wised up and moved west to Carver County. It's been an issue that I've been continuing to try to put a little dent in and to push for solutions for and to be a real advocate for. Since this issue is so near and dear to my heart, I wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about mental health during COVID-19, my tips and recommendations, as well as resources that are available to you. My first tip is to make sure to keep your same routine. So if you typically are in an office and now you're working from home and your day begins with showering and working out and eating breakfast and getting ready and then going to work, do everything but the commute part of that. Get up, do your hair and makeup, get dressed, shower, work out, do your typical routine. This will help to make sure that you feel like there's less of a drastic change in your life. And routine is really important to make sure that we are all feeling like things aren't so different and we are on the same page that we used to always be on and is important for mental health. My other tip is to get outside. No matter what the weather is, whether it's snowy or sunny, take time to get outside. Every day I put my little five month old in a stroller and we go uh, while practicing social distancing around the neighborhood and make sure we stretch our legs, get fresh air and some exercise. I firmly believe that in order to be mentally healthy, we have to make sure that we are physically healthy with proper nutrition, getting sunlight and fresh air as well as exercise. So make sure that you are not stuck inside the whole day. My third tip is to give yourself some personal space. Now, we are lucky to be quarantined with loved ones. Most of us are. And I love my husband and my son so much. But everyone needs space. You can't spend 24-7 with people for weeks on end. Whether it's I get a little walk around the neighborhood to myself or my husband gets to watch a movie while the baby and I are in a, a different room. Or sometimes he lets me uh, get a little bit of time to myself to go take a bubble bath or something. Make sure that you have personal time and personal space. Uh, no matter how much you love the people you're around, you could get sick of anybody or anything uh, if you take too much time with it. So make sure you have some new time. My other tip is to make sure to continue socializing. Whether you're an extrovert or an introvert, it is really important to have human and human interaction aside from those people that you are currently surrounded with. This may be the introvert's time to shine, but it is so important to have healthy interactions throughout our day. My family and I have Zoom happy hours on the weekends, which have been so much fun. My other family members and my friends and I have been doing a lot of FaceTiming and chatting. And then my colleagues and I, every single day, have a video conference call. And that half hour of seeing someone else's face and laughing and interacting really puts everything into perspective. It gets your uh, feel-good, happy hormones uh, flowing, and it's really important to make sure that you are continuing to interact with people every single day. There's a lot of good ways to do this, too. There's Zoom, Skype, FaceTime. Uh, you can have video calls and, or even just a phone call. You know, I called my grandma today for 30 minutes because she obviously can't figure out these apps, but she wanted to have that human to human interaction and she, it made her day. So make sure that you're not only reaching out to other people, uh, but you're making sure that you talk to people who maybe can't use Zoom or FaceTime or Facebook, check in on grandma. My last tip is to talk it out. If you are struggling with mental health, with anxiety or depression or any issue, make sure that you are reaching out to people, whether it's a friend, a family member, a trusted colleague, or a therapist. If you regularly go to therapy or are new to it, I am seeing a lot of people switch their practice to video conference calls, to phone calls. And there's also a number of amazing apps that you can do text talk therapy with or FaceTime therapy through that as well. Make sure you talk about Talk to people about what you're going through. 
I know that we are tough Minnesotans. We deal with these winters. We are strong, but you shouldn't have to white knuckle mental health issues. That's where problems start to begin. Now, if it's become a really big issue and you are finding that you're unable to cope on your own and there is nothing wrong with that whatsoever, these are a couple of resources I'd like you to check out. The CDC Disaster Distress Hotline is 1-800-958-5990, or you can text "talk with us" all one word to 66745. NAMI, or the National Alliance of Mental Illness, is offering many great resources for people to use, including online support groups and whatnot. Definitely check them out. And then, as I mentioned before, there are apps that you can get therapy through right now. There's BetterHelp, Regain, Teen Counseling, and Talkspace. Those are some great ones that you can find right in the app store, and they are a lot cheaper typically than face-to-face -face therapy conversations. Uh, and don't forget, like I said before, you can still reach out to therapists right now and do sessions like this, which might actually work out better for some people who don't really like that in-person interaction type of therapy. That's where a lot of this developed in the first place, this um, virtual health. So check out those resources. If you didn't write them down, you can visit me at colemanforsenate.com slash COVID-19, no hyphen, just colemanforsenate.com slash COVID-19. And there's a lot of great resources on that page for the mental health issues that we've been talking about and those resources uh, for small businesses, for businesses that are open if you're still looking to support businesses in our community. And lastly, I just ask that if someone reaches out to you struggling, that you don't brush it off, you don't pass judgment, you offer to be a listening ear. And if you don't have anyone like that in your life, uh, I am happy to be that listening ear for you. I'm not a therapist by any means. Um, I've had no formal training, but I'm a good listener and I'm here to help. Whether it's to listen to your fears and anxiety surrounding this or to connect you to a professional, you can reach out to me and it will be 100% confidential. I will never speak a word of it and I will do my best to get you to the tools, resources, and place that you need to be in your life. So let's hang in there. We will hopefully be done with this soon. This too shall pass. We are strong as a country, a state, and a county. And I know that we'll get through this together.